Uh, so this Chrysler 300 doesn't run well. Has a lot of lights on the dash. And uh, yeah, it has misfired and loss of power. So I'm gonna connect the scan tool to it and uh, we're gonna get this thing fixed. Okay, these are the codes in the PCM. So multiple cylinder misfires, the one I'd be mainly concerned about with the engine issue. Okay, so uh, the oxygen sensor will be replaced, but that isn't what's causing the engine to run bad. We got a P0300. Uh, I already cleared the codes and ran it, and it's, it just came back right away. So the first thing I usually do when there's misfires, I check the, the spark plug coils and the spark plugs. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop the hood here and on this, unfortunately, the intake manifold needs to come off in order for us to check that stuff, but it is what it is. So we're gonna start taking the intake manifold off and take some things apart and see if we can figure out why it's misfiring. Okay, so the first thing I wanna check is the spark plugs and these coils and stuff. So this intake manifold is gonna have to come off. So it's gonna come off. So you wanna pull that out of the clip. I'm gonna undo these hoses, some of these connectors, all the connectors that are going to the intake. So I'll show you them as I do it. But yeah, and then I'm gonna take out all these 10 millimeters here. On the side, there's gonna be studs with nuts connected like that. As you can see, that one uh, must have been taken off at some point, not put back on. There's another bracket over here. We're gonna take uh, that 10 millimeter bolt out. We're gonna undo this hose and we're gonna loosen this clamp here. And we're just gonna take this whole air box and get that out of the way. Okay, I got the bolt out of here. We're gonna pull this hose off and I loosen this. So we should be able to pull this off. We just wanna pull the sensor off here. Make sure you unlock the red clip there. And we should be able to lift this box up out. set the air box to the side now and uh, we're gonna take the throttle body out now well you don't need to take the throttle body off we're actually just gonna take this bracket and undo that I'm just taking the throttle body off because I'm gonna be cleaning it because it looks pretty dirty so uh, these are 10 millimeters one 10 there and then a 10 at the bottom and uh, I believe there's 12 holding the bracket onto the head there. And you don't need to take that completely off. You just need to loosen it a bit. All right, I got the two 10 millimeter nuts there and I loosened the bottom bolt there. We're gonna undo the connectors. You gotta undo the locking tab here and then pull it out. Same with these if they have a locking tab. I got the 10 mil out here. Uh, we got some hoses on the back here. That one's a bit stiff, so I'm gonna need to pull harder. And then we got another one here. To lift this intake out, it's possible to take it out without removing this, but if you remove this bar, it's gonna be a lot easier to lift it out of place, so gonna have two 13 millimeter bolts on each end. I already undid that end, one of them broke. And I need to replace the bar because it's rusted. But uh, anyway, I got that bolt out. I just have one more 13 mil. Be careful not to break them because if you do, then you're gonna have to deal with the broken bolts. But uh, yeah, once you unbolt it, just get these clips out. There's just clips holding the plastic in place and then there should be clips holding wires to the bottom of it. Just make sure you undo those and then we can pull the bar out of the way. Once you have everything undone, you should be able to pull it off the hook right here. That's supporting the windshield wipers. And then you can just sit it to the side. 
and uh, now we'll have more room to lift this intake up out of here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking all these 10 millimeter bolts out and definitely remove this hose. All of the hoses are now removed from the back, so I'm just going to undo the bolts here. Okay, once you get all those bolts loose, it might help to get them all stood up so they don't get caught as you try to pull it forward out of that pipe. Just gotta make sure those studs clear and the studs on this side clear. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just try to lift her out of place. Okay, once you take the uh, intake manifold off, you wanna inspect that gasket. Still looks okay, it's a bit deformed. But you wanna cover these holes up uh, I'm gonna start unplugging the coil packs because these are gonna come out because I'm gonna pull out all the spark plugs and see what's going on there. That looks a bit corroded and falling apart as you can see. It's swollen compared to the normal ones. See that's a normal one and then this is a, an old one. Anyway, I'm gonna undo them all, clean some things up. Let's remove these coil packs. Looks like it's a T30. So T30 screws holding it in. Uh, for the newer engines, 2006 and up 3.5s, they're gonna have a 10 millimeter and a slightly different looking coil pack, but it's the same engine. As you can see here, there's a bit of a leak there through the valve cover, so I'm just gonna get the valve cover gasket replaced while I got the intake manifold off. I ended all the connectors on the coil packs here and then I loosened all these screws. They're T25s. So after we loosen it we're going to lift up but we want to be careful that none of the hardware falls. I'm going to lift it out, inspect it. And I'm just going to lift all the six out and then then we'll start taking the spark plugs out. Okay, so I pulled these spark plugs here. And uh, as you can see, especially that one is completely destroyed. This one is mangled too. These are definitely not the, the stock type spark plugs that go in here. So this shows why you should have the right spark plug and change your spark plugs on time because they're essential to the car running right. So I do have new spark plugs that can go in this and we're gonna install them and I bet this thing's gonna be running good. All right, so I've determined that the spark plugs are bad. So I got new ones here and uh, I actually noticed that the valve covers are leaking on this a bit, so I'm gonna remove them. Once the new spark plugs are in, we'll start putting her back together and uh, see how good it works. I'm going to take the extension and the spark plug socket, and I'm gonna install each of the spark plugs with my hand and then tighten them. You wanna be careful not to damage anything or drop the spark plugs, because they do crack easily, and if they get cracked, then it will cause a misfire. And after you tighten them, you want to look in the hole and make sure the spark plug still looks good. You definitely don't want to flatten the tip because that will mess up the gap. All right, so the coil packs are tightened up. All the plugs are plugged in. I'm gonna clean up the intake manifold now and we're gonna get that ready to go back in. Okay, so I have it ready for the intake manifold to go back on. I noticed that that gasket was on backwards, so I put it the right way. And uh, I'm gonna lift it into place here now and finish bolting it up and plugging in the connector. All right, once you get everything tightened up, you want to make sure that everything gets plugged back in. And if there's a little red locking clip on it, you want to press that down. 
now I just need to put the air box in here now. Everything's plugged in in the back. The last thing to put back on will be the crossbar here that supports the windshield wiper motor under there. And uh, I'm not gonna throw mine back in yet because I'm gonna be replacing it. But uh, now it's time to start this up and see if it runs better. Let me find out if this thing works good now. Bit of an exhaust leak, but it's running. Okay, so before the engine light was flashing because it was misfiring, I'm gonna clear the codes and all that and replace that oxygen sensor and that should be it for the engine light. I gotta calibrate the steering. All right, seems to be running good. I'm gonna put it in gear and see if it bogs down. Well, I put it into gear and it's running mint. So it's no longer misfiring. Just gotta work on the other stuff and we're getting there. <laughs>